Ouch! <laughs> I'm Justin, and this is Black Opal Direct. My family have been teaching and exploring Opal since 1961. Click the subscribe button and enjoy as we dive into the best gem in the world, Black Opal. G'day and welcome to Black Opal Direct. My name's Justin. Well, this week we are working on a massive knobby opal. Really, really big piece and it has a very thick color bar going through it. Now I can see on the outside that there's got inclusions. So I am hoping to, praying to the opal gods that actually something inside is clean and not full of sand, which I've experienced a lot of lately and you've seen it. Um, and we're gonna expose it. So it's gonna be a wild ride this one, I promise you. Let's get on the wheel and get to it. Well, this massive piece just really has some nice color all the way around it. And you can see it's still following through on this side, but this big sand blob on top may cause us a lot of havoc. There is also a little bit of a crack there that I reckon will disappear the further I go in. So my hope is that this gets darker inside and hopefully it faces nicely on the top. But this is a really big stone, so we have massive chances, massive potential, and uh, still a lot of risk. Let's get that wheel going. Let's get some water going on the wheel. So I'm just gonna take it around this side where I can't actually see into the piece yet. You can see there's a light blue sort of color bar below the better color, which is not something I'm going to concentrate on very much. Oh, wow, that sand is really not nice. Really not nice. We are being beaten up by sand once again. Beaten to a pulp. And C is really not... Oh, come on, give me a break. This sand is my worst nightmare. A lot of color bar there. And that sand is just ridiculous. What is it about me and sand at the moment? I'm like a sand magnet. see that there is some kind of form of color bar there that I've set up around the edges or cleaned up around the edges so now we're going to take all of this off and this is the big telltale to see whether actually <coughs> something's worthwhile coming out of it or not <coughs> and I'm going in So showing up some color there now. On the top. Oh, nice color. Okay. 
Oh boy. So there's still sand here and I'm going to need to get, let's have a quick look. We've got one sand spot here, we've got colour bar still sitting there and we've got sand on top. This big sand blob I could probably gouge into and it'd probably go a fair way down. Um, but that has to come out because that's just not on. Well, actually, that's not bad. It's actually just hit the bottom there. So a little bit further and hopefully that sand should be out. I'm guessing. Yep, looking pretty good, that one. This one here goes in quite deep. So I may have a stone around here. And if that's the case, that would be really cool. So we'll just keep going, cleaning it up seeing what uh, what we can get out of it I'm liking the color here the most that's the prettiest color but it's also where the sand is all mixed up of a dilemma really good pattern up here really good pattern further down what do I do does this good pattern go in underneath here or do I just go for a nice high domed beautiful stone right there slice these corners off and see what I can get this sand spot here, still going in. If I gouge into it, you can see, yeah, it goes in pretty deep. So that's going to take away a fair bit of dome from anything that I can salvage from here. So I think we're gonna slice it through that sand spot there and through there. Hmm, and go for a nice stain. See if I can get this closer and have a closer look. So it doesn't really show up on the camera, but we've got layers of opal here. This here, this here, this here is all one layer that I think goes into the piece on an angle like this. And then the color, good color sits on top, and then there's good color below. Now the ultimate goal would be to slice that through, slice that off right here, about, probably about there. Um, don't know if I'm good enough to be able to do that. And if I do, this, which is pretty much black opal right now, will probably turn to a lighter opal. What to do? What to do? Hmm. And also another question is how clean is that color bar below? All right, well, I'm gonna go back out, take it on the final wheel and just have a go at just taking out that sand here and seeing how good the color is below. Because if I'm gonna slice it anyway, it doesn't really matter. If I can get that, go down past the hazy layer and see what kind of stone is below, then we'll get a really good idea 
about whether we should go down on it or not. Okay. Ooh. So not bad, not bad colour. But I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to slice it, slice that little slither off the top go for a stone here and then see what's below. Now this is a big risk, really big risk, but hey, you only live once so I, I think I have to give it a go. Yeah. Slicing a piece off the top like this is so risky because it's so thin, the blade can break the opal so easily. And I also risk the fact that there may be no extra colour down below or even inclusions. Oh, 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 yes! <laughs> oh my goodness! <laughs> that worked out. Oh my goodness. <laughs> that worked out. My risk has paid off. I am so happy. So happy. Oh wow. Check out this. You gotta see. You gotta see. This is ridiculous. So we had that bit on the top and uh, sat there. So I sliced that off, as you can see, and just below it, look at the pattern. Look at it. That is magnificent. And that's what I was hoping for. So now we can work on taking this down a little bit further around here and here and see if that pattern gets any bigger. If not, we still got a stone right there, which is magnificent, and I am stoked. I am stoked. Oh, it worked out. I can't believe it. Okie dokie. So, I might just shape this guy up a little bit. See what we get out of that. So, that's a nice little crystal now. So, we didn't waste anything on the top to see what was below. Happy about that. Oh yeah. There we go. It's a nice crystal and the colour's actually even better from the back. So that'll probably be a double-sided stone. Very pretty. There we go. Very nice. And now, let's work on this beauty. How about we come in closer to view this thing being rubbed up because it's worthy. Totally worthy. Oh yeah. Love it when a plan comes together. That's nice. Uh, what I'm going to do because of the pattern changes, I'm going to slice it again through there and slice it through there and go for the biggest stone I can right there, which is the money, the breadwinner. 
Yes. All right. I'll quickly slice it very quickly and then get back to you on the wheel and we'll start shaping it up. Oh, I'm excited. So you want to hear the good news or the better news? <laughs> the good news is I have sliced it all off. We will get one stone out of there on the corner and we will get one stone out of there on that corner but the extra awesome news is where this pattern is starting to go a little bit change up from the beautiful pattern inside you can see underneath showing up some really nice pattern so uh, that is obviously I think joining up to the better pattern so if I was to rub that down that side I'm probably going to find that that pattern is starting going to start to get better again so let's have a little quick look and see it, whether it's damp, dance worthy oh that's gorgeous gorgeous all right I am so so happy about this one. Oh yeah let's bring it back to there so that we can work on this wheel because we've got a lot of rough to take off the back so let's rub that down yes I am pushing quite hard right now just to get all that potch off the back we don't really need yeah, magnificent magnificent we'll give this one a little bit of a push too a push and a shove and this one I might bring it in a little bit it's that sand spot that potch there there's sand here and here that's in the colour so it's not really doing the stone any favours get rid of the potch off the back there we go so that actually nicer colour underneath as well so we're going to take that down obviously to the better colour and we'll get a nice stone out of there very pretty stain out of there I'll just give that quick shape all right now we can come back to this wheel turn the water on and then we start shaping I love it when a plan works out this is so good so good oh yeah oh yeah bring it on this is what all about when an opal works out it really works out and I am so happy about this can, can you tell a little bit excited just a little bit excited roll that dome oh, losing color go beautiful gem right there let's put that one away and this one can shape up a little bit roll that edge so we get a dome a little bit still too much potch on the back Nice little drop shape there. Got to be happy with that. It's quite nice. Beautiful. And the money winner. The bread winner. Beautiful. Beautiful. So we do take it in a little bit because there is some some 
lighter colour, lighter pattern and colour sitting there. So uh, it doesn't really need to be there, it won't do any justice on the stone. So let's bring it in. Beautiful colour. This is what it's all about. Beauty. What a beauty. <laughs> gorgeous stone. What a gorgeous stone. All right, let's have a closer look at it. <laughs> Can you believe it? Oh, what an amazing piece. What an amazing stone. It comes out 11 and a half carats right now. So I'm thinking a nine carat gem. Beautiful color. I am so happy. I, I was thinking that there might be some kind of a little beautiful gem kernel in the center, but I tell you what, that has just knocked my socks off. And the other three stones are quite nice too. It was good that I sliced that little crystal off the top Got to save it rather than grinding it away because there was just enough bar there to do it the other two rubs are quite nice there's probably another really 500 to a thousand dollars worth there but this main piece is an absolute winner and i am stoked so let's get into it and start cutting those stones i love it when a plan comes together it makes everything all worthwhile. And sharing it with you really makes it special. When a beautiful gem like this comes out, it makes me happy. And I hope it makes you happy too. Let me know in the comments how you felt about this journey from the rough to where it is now. Did it stress you out? Did it give you anxiety? Did it make you feel relaxed? I'd love to know. I do know that some of you fall asleep to my videos, which I'm not sure how to take. <laughs> Well, wasn't that a fun stone to cut? I really enjoyed it and I hope you did too. And this beautiful 1.60 carat crystal opal was the piece I sliced right off the top. And it's worth around about the $400, so it was really worthwhile doing that slice. Really happy with that. I also ended up polishing the back because the color was better on the back than the front. 
This gem ended up being 2.16 carats and it does just make it into the black opal category and I valued it at around about $600. Very pretty little ring stone. This little odd drop shape turned out quite nice at a 0.82 carat. It just made it into the black opal category as well for $300. And the last but not least, this black opal turned out to be 7.35 carats. A little bit smaller than I had imagined, but I took a fair bit off the back to make it quite balanced. But that color is outrageous. I love it. It's an N4 and it's got a brightness of four with the beautiful green and blue play of color that has color on color. An amazing gem turning out to be around about the $10,000. So all up, I am super, super excited. Well, that was one of the most awesome adventures I've had in a while. Thank you for watching this one. I'm really happy with it. I hope you are too. And I will see you next week. I hope you didn't think that was it. Things I do to get a rise.